the customer service, right? I, I run into it a lot, customer service, because I handle in my house all the hookups, internet, whatever we need, gas, I do all that. I got on the phone with the cable people, right? I don't know if you ever try hook up cable over the phone with these people. There's a pre-recorded message that says, we're gonna monitor the call for quality assurance, right? So as soon as I get a live operator, I tell them, just so you know, I'm recording a call on my end too, okay? <laughs> you got me, I got you. Behave, behave. So the next morning, I come down for breakfast. I got a guy in my yard already. Cable guy's in the yard already. My wife is like, what is he doing? I go, I don't know. Now, I handle that. That's another thing you handle as a husband. You got a guy in your yard, you take care of that. You don't send your wife, go, I see. Go out there. As a husband, you have to handle stuff. You make reservations to a restaurant, as the man, you check in. You go right up to, the, I got a two man of skunk up tonight. You got that? You don't send your wife. I see it all the time. Wives go up. Hi, we're here. Two for uh, Johnson. It's ready. Honey, you wanna? It's ready, honey. You wanna come up here? <laughs> handle it. So I handle the cable guy. I come outside in the yard. Hey, what's going on? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, no, I can do it. I can do it. I can get it, the, the cable, I can get it. What? You don't come to the door, or introduce yourself. So how'd you get back here? I can't do it, I gotta take a break. Break, you didn't do nothing. He's telling me he can't hook the cable up because the cable's in my neighbor's yard. I gotta ask my neighbor if it's okay for him to go get the cable. I go, Julio, you broke into my yard. Can't you just break into his? It's your cable, go get the damn thing. I can do it. So me and Julio go over to my neighbor. I just moved into the neighborhood. I don't even know the guy. I knock on the door, the guy came to the door, had a full medical mask on. If you have a medical mask on and you answer the door, that's gotta be the first thing out of your mouth, okay? Why you got this damn thing on? <laughs> I come to my door with a medical mask, I take it down, listen, doing some painting in the, in the garage, gets into my lungs, that's why I got the mask. <laughs> this guy, nothing on the mask. Started talking through the mask. He's like, what's going on? I go, no, no, no. What's going on in here? I just bought the joint next door. Do I gotta put it up for sale? Why the hell do you got a medical mask on on a Monday morning, okay? Let's get into that. I'm gonna send Julio in your yard. Is he gonna come out with no head? What are you doing with the mask? I live in the negative. Live in the negative. My wife is in the positive, okay? Came back to, to our house, I said, put the for sale sign up. There's a guy with a medical mask living next door. She's like, maybe he has a respiratory problem and that's why he has the mask. I go, or maybe he's got 16 bodies in drums in formaldehyde in his basement. Put the sign up, we're moving. Clap your hands, sir. Stop being racist. Clap your hands. Jeez. I don't like the pressure that women put on you, though, like after you have kids. Like, you got enough pressure in a marriage as it is. Like, your woman wants you to provide for her and a protector. I don't mind providing. I got money, let me pay for stuff. I don't like protecting. Like, say me and you go to the movies, right? And a guy come up and smack you right in the face while we at the movies. If you with me, then you just got smacked. That's something that just happened. Like, 
we can talk about it when we get in the car. Let's, let's figure out why it happened and see what we can do to prevent it from happening again. But as far as me like just going and doing something about it, I'm not gonna do that because if he didn't care about punching you in the face, I know he don't care about my face. That's common sense. <laughs> Two black eyes don't equal 2020 vision. Somebody got to get us home. That's what I'm good at. I'm a witness. Let me drive. You... I saw everything. I saw it all, babe. When he punched you, I got behind the vending machine because I didn't want him to know that we were together. That's none of his business. <laughs> I don't like ostriches. For those people that don't know what an ostrich is, it's a bird that's the same size as me. I'm in Nebraska, right? I had a run in with this ostrich. I'm in Nebraska, I'm on the side of the road, I'm peeing. I get done peeing, I look to my left, it was an ostrich looking at me while I was peeing. He was standing on one leg like this, his body was facing this way, but his head, his head was like this. Now, I didn't know what it was, so I didn't say nothing. My friend got out of the car, he's like, yo, what the hell is that? I was like, I don't know, it's like a big pigeon or something. I didn't know what it was, right? He was like, that ain't no pigeon. He took an ink pen, threw the pen at it. When he threw the pen at the ostrich, he hit the ostrich in the chest. As Soon as he hit the ostrich in the chest, his other leg came down. His body was still facing this way, but his head was still like this. <laughs> I was like, you know what? We should probably go get in the car because we don't really know what that mean. You know, like that, that could be a sign. That could mean like you got 10 seconds to get out of my face before I kill you. I'm gonna eat your kids. We don't know what he trying to say. So let's just get in the car where we safe at. So we get in the car, I start laughing. I'm like, ah, <laughs> you were scared, man. He's like, no, you were scared. I'm like, no, you were scared. No, you, no, you was. I'm driving like 30 miles per hour. I look out the passenger window. The ostrich was running 30 miles per hour beside the car. His body was still facing this way, but his head was like this. And he was haul assing at 30 miles per hour. Now, when I'm scared, like if I'm real, real scared, sir, I'll start to cry. Only if I'm real scared. So I was like, why would you throw a pin at it if we don't even know what it is? <laughs> we don't even know what it is! I was freaking out, right? He was like, man, stop being a little girl. Just speed up, drive faster. I started driving 60 miles per hour. When I tell you that this ostrich was running 60 miles per hour, I am not playing. His body was still facing this way, but his head was like this. And his legs, you couldn't even see him. They, it looked like a black cotton ball floating. It was amazing. And I was scared because he never took his eyes off us. Like, he was looking at us the whole time. Like, he didn't check for a wall, another bird, nothing. It's like, he was like, when I catch y'all, I'm gonna kill both of y'all over a pen. And I was like, why don't you just apologize? Because I was scared. I'm scared of dolphins as well. I'm very scared of dolphins. And I, like I said, I got a reason to be scared of everything that I'm afraid of, right? Me and my lady, we in Maui one time. We in Maui, she's like, babe, we should go swim with the dolphins. I'm like, no, I told you how I feel about them dolphins. I don't want to swim with the dolphins. She's like, come on, stop acting like that. Let's swim with the dolphins. I was like, you know what? Let's swim with the dolphins. Something happened to me, it's gonna be on your conscience. Now we go to swim with the dolphins. They got the dolphins in like this little tank, right? It's like eight dolphins. I see an old lady on the back of a dolphin, these little boys. I'm like, you know what, babe? I might've been overreacting. Get the camera, take some pictures of me on the back of the dolphin. I was excited, right? I get in the water, I'm on the back of the dolphin. The instructor, he says, as soon as you grab the dolphin fin, the dolphin gonna start taking you around. So whenever you ready, grab his fin. As Soon as I grabbed my dolphin fin, my dolphin went straight to the bottom of the tank. He went straight down, right? <laughs> now, because I was scared, I didn't let go. I held on. And you know when you're scared, you start to mentally create stuff in your own mind. I was like, it's obvious that I got a racist dolphin. He don't like black people. <laughs> That's obvious. He done cut a deal with a shark to bring him a black piece of meat. Something bad about to happen, right? <laughs> I let go, I get to the top, I start snapping on the instructor. I was like, nobody just saw dolphin number eight missing? Huh? Nobody noticed that I was gone for like 30 seconds? Y'all don't have a bell or nothing at your ring? He tried to kill me. He took me to the bottom of the tank to meet with sharks, okay? I'm the only black dot in this damn tank. You didn't notice that I wasn't going around? Huh? You see this old lady and this little boy, but nobody noticed the black swirl missing? Nobody noticed it? And he was like, whoa, whoa, calm down. It's three feet, just stand up. And I was like, what? <laughs> What'd he say? I didn't even realize that I was walking and talking at the same time. <laughs> but it was a racist dolphin. I'm gonna tell you how I know it was a racist dolphin. Cause like, you know how dolphins be like, kick it, kick it, kick it. Well, when I got out the water, I looked at him and he looked at me, he's like, nigga, nigga. And I said, what did you just, what? My name's Kevin Hart, y'all been a great crowd. See you.